Hey there, it's C.J. Miller. I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana, across the Red River from beautiful Bossier City, Louisiana. And, oh, it's hard to see, but there is a little speck of a moon in the sky right there. I love it. It's uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We got a moon. Uh, so that view uh, of my window, it is the inspiration for this uh, painting that I'm working on. Just basically, just a, it's not a an exact replica. That's not my skill set, but uh, yeah, what I am doing is I'm just kind of coming in here and giving a, a little deepening to the corners of the, of, of the, this building has edges and corners and give it just a little, you know, uh, definition, not too much because I don't want to take away from uh, basically the whole idea <laughs> that I'm not doing a picture perfect replication but I do want to come in here and give a little uh, in the in the corners uh, some definition uh, and I have done that and then as I've done that and I'm going to come through and I want to like soften the lines within these corners also uh, and these are like inner you know they're uh, uh, the same as my building does out here where it's like a come here and kind of turns out and kind of turns back in and everything like that, you know? So, uh, yeah, just, uh, just a brush. that has got like just a little bit of leftover paint on it. Just kind of like stipple it and get a little, uh, that's okay. That's good enough to give some shadow to it. Uh, the whole idea is I'm not trying to recreate or re paint over what I've already done. Uh, I just want to uh, give a little bit of a blending or whatever. So if I took just a little touch of a fresh pigment, then I can uh, kind of blend and get a little bit of softening into these corners. Also, while uh, straightening the lines up, but also blending with that. You see how that's kind of bringing in the uh, kind of smoothing it. This is almost what I like to call feathering. Uh, it's not quite, if you're doing a, a, like a comic style drawing or something, feathering would be like, as you come around the curve using, I don't know, these kind of lines to soften it. Uh, also what I've done is I've gone through and I put the beginnings of where the windows will kind of be like a nondescript, uh, just kind of given a little bit of a, and I don't know how detailed, the windows are going to be from here to here to here to here. Uh, how, how deep I'm going to be looking to see into those windows, I don't know uh, yet. But as you can see, this building is uh, taking form, taking shape. This is uh, out of my view, but this is like one building that has like a couple of uh, turns to it, you know, so uh, in the architecture. So what I would maybe do here at this point is kind of come out with it a little bit, give it kind of just the edge right there. So that's not such a straight line. And then later on, maybe uh, when I get into what, whatever this is going to be, uh, you know, and I don't know if I'm going to continue on with the, uh, you know, the, the, everything out of my view has like a, a, you know, a church and, uh, you know, a studio and then some buildings off in the background. I don't know if I'm going to continue with that or if I'm going to let this be what my building would look like, say, if it were, uh, near a beach. Cause I'm kind of digging this too, you know, these, uh, the sky with the, but I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Like, it's one of these things where when I start, uh, the art kind of takes like a direction uh, and I kind of run with it. Uh, I, I have an inspiration, but that inspiration is just a, it's just a, uh, a place to start. And then from wherever uh, it takes me after that, I just kind of like let it go. You know, I just kind of like follow it, you know, but, uh, anyway, uh, so it's not too much difference from, from this, than the video that I posted earlier today. It doesn't look very different, but there is a lot, uh, 
a lot of work that's actually gone into this uh in that in that in those few hours it's just not exactly uh it's not specifically uh noticeable because i'm working very subtly you know with very subtle changes and very subtle tones and that i'm going to build on it gradually and i think it's better to work that way because if i did something that's extremely um uh that's an extreme variation from this to a to a great variation in color and texture and technique and everything uh, it uh would not it would it would be harder it would be harder to find to bridge those those differences in techniques and colors and tones uh it would be it it, it depends upon you know what uh what i would visually want to inspire in someone who looks at the painting you know do i want them to be you know kind of calm and and uh you know a serene this is kind of going in a living room uh a kitchen kind of space but but it's kind of joined living space and it should be kind of a calming uh thing versus something that is if if this were going into a music studio or an art room or something like that then then certainly the technique could be a lot more provocative uh and the uh colors could be a little bit more clashy and 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 much more bold uh you know um and uh that that's something that i certainly have done before uh but that's not really where where I wanted to go here. I'm I'm wanting this to match the uh, you know the tones, the walls, and things like that. that you know what I mean? So even even the uh, if I decide to frame it, the frame's going to be kind of like a light sandy kind of wood. Uh, something that you know it, it will be a super uh, mellow piece by the time I'm finished. I feel that's where I'm going with it. You know, kind of a speaking in some sort of tranquility even if i decide to go ahead and yes i go ahead and put some you know turn this uh let this be the skyline but then put buildings and and kind of work uh you know in that in that kind of inspiration then um i still want it to be uh inducing of a happy calm environment you know uh, because I'm a person, like, if you come to my house to visit, I don't want to hear all that drama, <laughs> you know, that people, hey, so I want, uh, you know, I don't want to uh, uh, have artwork that is, like, uh, emotionally stimulating. I want to have uh, artwork that is emotionally relaxing, if that makes a difference. I don't know if I was a troubled child and would find myself in the, uh, in the office, uh, waiting to see, uh, usually the assistant principal of disciplinary action or something like, I don't know, but whatever. And, um, at one point I noticed that, okay, great. So the, um, walls were painted really light colored and mellow colors and everything like that. And it's the whole idea is that these, colors the rooms that you're in and your environment that you're looking at even though nothing's going on you know can calm you down and that was a study that was done you know psychologically the effects of uh the effects of uh walls you know paint on a wall colors on a wall or whatever and it turns out that yes what you what you look at uh not just not just specific scenery but even just the color, you know, uh, can have an effect on your mood. Some colors can be bold and exciting and, and uh, in an agitated state, even aggravating. And, uh, and then some colors can, people can go in uh, like a, a student at school, like I often was, going in in an agitated state and um, softer colors be a little bit calming, you know, 
And boy, that would piss me off too. I'd be like, oh, nah, 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 nah. I was pissed off when I came in here and now I'm relaxed. Damn it. You know, so yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I, I, that's what I want for like this front room, even though I want to create and paint some interesting things. I do want to work, uh, with the idea that the whole idea is to, uh, you know, have people feel relaxed when they come over and you can't do that. Say like, if this were my, uh, room where I wanted to be like super creative and a media room and a, a whatever, if, if you know what I mean? Like if I were having like, uh, movie posters that had that depicted suspense you know, and uh, even a little step further and go into like, you know, some of the slasher, the horror movies, you know, that's, there's a place for that, but not in uh, a living room or a front room or family room or something like that. That's more of a, that's more of a, let's put this in a studio where we're going to be working on like a music and art and stuff like, you know, the creative and that, that's, that's a space where you can pretty much say anything and do anything with your art and everything but yeah so you don't you don't walk into a doctor's office and see like uh, a collection of movies from uh, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre you know that would not be uh, calming and you know most people would probably have they'd, they'd probably turn and be like yeah nope 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 you know so yeah um, and I want my, I want my, uh, front space. I want it to be like a welcoming environment. And I've got a bedroom that I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, that I can do whatever I want. It's, it's like, it's already, um, got, um, what should I say? Uh, there's musical instruments and drums and everything all over the place. See that, that can be, uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, provocative with the artwork but yeah i've even got some uh small pictures uh from from you know family photos from uh times in the past you know uh, where people took like uh polaroids and even before polaroids there were some black and white photos then there were some faded photos that were uh you know on color film but they fade over time that kind of thing uh, whether I, so I've got, I've got, I want to do an actual, I don't want to just take those and blatantly put them around. I actually, because I feel that they're thematic uh, as, as a collection, then I want to kind of build a visual field around that. And I feel like that's going to be somewhere in the hallway. Um, there was just one, <laughs> I think, uh, I don't think I did any videos uh, on this YouTube channel about it here, but in my Facebook, I did. I, I did that canvas about this large, and I it was a mixed medium. And I remember that I was having trouble really getting the paints to work well. I was using a combination of acrylic paint and um, oil paints, and they don't work well. Oils, oils, and latex they 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 tend to. Uh, They, they tend to dissolve each other, break each other down, you know, and, uh, but anyway, I eventually got, uh, something and it was, uh, it was a water spout, you know, a, 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 or a tornado funnel out on the water, you know, and it was kind of a beach scene or whatever I was kind of working with, but it was like, you know, eh, whatever. I don't know. It was, uh, very it was a very bold piece and I couldn't think of any place to put it in the apartment. And I had some eccentric stuff and it was like, Oh my God, I don't want to feel like, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm, you know, uh, so basically I took it and I hung it in the bathroom, you know, like, you know, <laughs> and then it kind of took on a whole different meaning. Like, Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm this place where I urinate. And here's a water spout. You know, when I, it's a, like from perspective, I'm like a, uh, wow, I'm a force of nature kind of thing. It, it was whimsical and ironic and everything, but eh, it was also juvenile and stupid. So, and I ended up getting the the painting away when I moved. I gave that one to someone uh, who just didn't have a lot of uh, artwork and stuff. Yeah, um, 
you know, because I, I was living in this uh, building. I'll show you. Zoomed in. So that building over there is called the Fairmont. That's where I used to live. And it's a lot of people who move there and it's maybe their, maybe their first apartment or they're moving there uh, at, for, for some sort of life change, good or bad, indifferent, whatever. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed uh, my time there, but it was, it's a very, it's a building that's in very, very much in disrepair. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I lived there long enough till I can find a place to move out. I, I moved there because it was I knew that I could get downtown and enjoy living downtown. That was my motivation. Let me just get downtown. So I took the first place I could afford downtown, uh, at, which was that building. And then uh, I looked around for a few years. And uh, then I uh, found that they were building this place. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, fine. I'll just wait out this apartment because uh, I was ready to move after that first uh uh, nine months to a year, but I was like, okay, I will just wait it out until they finish building this. And then, and then of course, you know, COVID for a couple of years and it was like, eh, delayed the building. But yeah, that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I was like, you know, it probably for me getting in this building uh, that I'm in now, uh, which I like, uh, that's giving me a chance to really just kind of come in and do what I want. I'm like the first person to ever live in this particular apartment. Uh, so, you know, um, so the energies that I put here are very fresh and new, you know, whereas over in the other place, it's like a, it's a vintage building and the people who have lived in that building have left their, uh, uh, this is going to sound weird, but people leave energies behind. And I'm not talking about ghosts. I'm talking about when you live someplace for a long time, you know, there's a there's a bit of your energy that leaves. It doesn't totally dissipate immediately after you leave. I mean that that yeah you know, we we are energy. We are we are electricity uh, in in solid form. You know, and uh, we're we're very electrical people. You know, <laughs> like that's the world that we live in. And so um, I really I really believe that. Uh, and there's a heavy rotation in, in that apartment building over there, the Fairmont, where people move in and out every few months, and it's a constant changing of uh, energies, but it never dissipates. It picks up a, a high charge, and you feel it, you know? And, uh, yeah, so, but this is but this is fresh, so this, this building here, you know? And I didn't do anything. I've been here for a, a year and a half, you know, uh, it'll be two years in uh, the end of September going in November that I've been here. And I have been that careful uh, not to put anything on the walls yet because I wanted to feel uh, that what I would do as far as decor would be sincere. And I decided to do some of the pieces myself like this one. And then I'll hang some that some of my friends have had. And then I'll do some pieces that are actually manufactured you know, I'll do a nice uh, combination of, uh, you know, marketed pieces versus photograph versus, you know, uh, pieces that I'm creating myself and everything so for my own amusement. But when I left, I was talking about the Fairmont, the other building. So a lot of the people that move there, they don't have a lot. You know, I, I didn't have a tremendous amount when I first moved in, but uh, I had, eno I had a enough to be comfortable and start with, you know. But... Um, yeah. Uh, so, so these paintings, and I had like a probably about thirty or forty uh, paintings, you know, that I I did or bits of art that I had because I was always rotating out the displays, and that people would give me also. You know, I did like a lot of you know uh, inexpensive art that I thought was interesting, and so when I when I moved. I left a lot of that behind. Only some of my most, you know, personal pieces that I bring with me, the ones that I really liked, you know, a couple of gifts from from some other people, you know. I, I like to keep things that are, like, gifted to me or something like that. So, um, but, I, but I gave away a lot of that when I was coming over here. And, uh, boy, people were really, uh, like, wow, just happy. To, to, to get it. And so that was cool because it is, you know, handcrafted, really put together art. Uh, this is, 
not near what it's going to look like when it's done. It's it's going to look good, but this is going to be interesting. And I know that I'm comfortable in talking about my uh, lev level of talent that I don't think I'm going to get like a a thousand dollars or anything like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't dare ask for anything like that. But I will paint something that looks comfortable and nice enough to hang. You know, uh, <laughs> so it'll be like it's you know, it'll be it'll be uh, wall worthy. <laughs> Is that a, ooh? If I had a if I had a personal store or gallery to, to where I really. Uh, was in the market uh, of home decor, I would call it wall worthies. Well, we used to have a Woolworths and a Walmart and so Walworth, but I was, I literally, I just invented a word. So by, we'll, I'll post this video. And then if I ever decide to use that, this will be evidence of the fact that, Hey, wall worthies is uh, the name of my market and, Whatever, I don't care. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I, in a little bit, I'm going to go to the gym and do uh, some uh, reducing. I'm going to take the bus over because I'm going to do some treadmilly kind of stuff. And uh, Planet Fitness, where I go to. <sighs> Love you guys. Bye.